Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. For today's video I'll be reviewing the Mini Uno 3-in-1 Travel Cot. To start, the Mini Uno Travel Cot is suitable for newborns all the way up to 15 kilograms, which is approximately 3 years of age. And that's one of the reasons why me and my husband purchased this specific travel cot compared to the others that we'd seen. The travel cot includes a newborn friendly bassinet which is suitable for babies under 6.5 kilograms and a removable baby changer which is suitable for those under 11 kilograms. It's also able to double up as a playpen which is incredibly handy. There's no doubts that this travel cot is able to adapt with your child's needs and age. We paid about £55 for this travel cot and I feel like we've definitely got our money's worth out of it. Considering me and my husband were debating not even purchasing a travel cot for our child, it has definitely come in handy not just for travelling but for our everyday life. We pretty much permanently have it set up in our garden room so that our daughter can be placed in it if needed. The Mini Uno Travel Cot comes with its own carry bag, which is extremely useful and makes travelling with it very easy. However, if you are using both the newborn bassinet and the changing mat attachments, it can be a struggle to fit everything inside the one bag. The cot is pretty lightweight considering what you get with the cot, and you can easily lift it both into or out of a car. The travel cot is easy to put up and it is possible to do it by yourself, however if it's your first time putting it up you may need some help. Once you get the hang of it though you can put it up in about 1 minute if you're not using the bassinet or changer with the cot and about 2-3 to three minutes if you're using the bassinet and changer with the cot. The travel cot feels sturdy and well made which I'm of course very happy about as that was something that I was worrying about with buying a travel cot. It's quite a wide travel cot too, which is good because it means that my daughter has lots of room in there and she seems pretty comfortable. The padded base also adds to the comfort level, however over time it doesn't seem quite as padded as what it used to be. It's quite easy to put down, however it's useful to note that sometimes the netting can get stuck and tangled in the frame, which can make putting the travel cot down a little bit fiddly, but it's usually okay. I found that this happened especially when we were using the newborn bassinet, but honestly, I don't see it as a massive problem. The travel cot comes in a nice grey colour, which is absolutely lovely because you guys know that I adore the colour grey. So overall, I would say that the Mini Uno travel cot is worth the money, but only if you're going to get a lot of use out of it. I knew we were going to get our money's worth because we do quite a lot of travelling, plus as I mentioned earlier, we have it permanently in our garden room set up, so we use it every single day. However, if you don't think you're going to get much use out of it, then you might want to look into purchasing a cheaper travel cot. I think it's great that it is suitable from birth up to 15 kilograms as well. It's easy to say that the Mini Uno Travel Cot has a lot more positives to it than negatives and I would personally definitely recommend purchasing this item if you're looking for a good sturdy travel cot that will last your child for their first years. So with that being said, what do you think of this travel cot? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and if you're new here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.